Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're going to look at Trilogy Extreme from Brian Caswell and Alakazam. Uh, what is this trick? It is a card trick. It is a full deck trick that's best done with three spectators. And you give each spectator a selection that is freely thought of by them and you're able to show them that you predicted exactly what they would pick. You want to see the trailer? This is it. When Brian Caswell's trilogy first hit the market, it was a game changer. A triple prediction that was surefire and mind-blowing. Now, ten years after its initial release, it's back. And this time, it's better than ever. Not only have we improved the method, but for the first time, I'm sharing my personal routines, handlings, and tips for this amazing effect. Three coins are set on the table. Your spectators have a totally free choice of which coin they choose. You now introduce three envelopes. The envelopes are mixed and distributed amongst the spectators. On the table there's a deck of cards. You explain that each card has a number on the back ranging from 1 to 52. Two of your spectators are asked to think of numbers between 1 and 52 and the third spectator is asked to think of any playing card. Once they've made their decisions, you remove the cards from the box and remove from the deck the two selected numbers and from the face-up deck the selected and thought-of playing card. Now, on opening each spectator's envelope, not only have you correctly predicted which coin they would choose, but you have also predicted the cards relating to their thought of numbers and the number related to their thought of card. I've added so many layers of deception to Trilogy that you are going to absolutely <laughs> love Trilogy Extreme. <laughs> My name is Peter Nardi and this is Trilogy Extreme. All right, so that was Brian Caswell. Uh, you might remember that he's done some other effects. He's done Cataclysm, he's done Inevitable, and he's done The Fifth Card. A couple questions we always ask about all of our magic reviews, and the first of which is, what is in the box? What's in the box? You're going to get the DVD. DVD is 45 minutes long, and you're going to get an entire deck of specially made cards. Uh, and so you'll need both of those, obviously, to do the trick. Uh, it is a full deck effect, and you have to use this deck when doing the trick. Is it what I thought? It is what I thought, but only because I have previously reviewed Thought Wave Extreme from Alakazam also earlier. And so since they both have the word extreme in it, <laughs> and they're both very similar effects where there's writing on one side and it's a prediction, uh, I was, and the, the, I saw that the deck was similar, they're both done on Phoenix back decks, I, I, it kind of gave away uh, how the trick was done only because I have another version that's similar, but that's the only reason why. How are the angles to Trilogy Extreme? There aren't any. Uh, it's, it is a card trick in and of itself, uh, so there's nothing really to show. There is um, one thing that you'd be wary of, and that is depth perception, but uh, it's not really an angle issue. It's just something for you as the magician to be aware of. And uh, Peter Nardi they walks you through all of this. Uh, David Loosley gives you, you know, tips on how to cover that. All right, so what's the overall quality and production value of the DVD? Uh, it's great. Everything you'd expect already from Alakazam. You've seen the same location if you own any Alakazam video. Again, it's David Loosley, Peter Nardi sitting down together, taking this trick step by step. 45 minutes long for a trick that'll probably only be five or six minutes. They really are covering all the odds and ends. It's great shots, great film, great microphone. Can't go wrong. All right, so is the prop well made? Uh, this is a Phoenix back deck and these cards were printed in Germany. Uh, so it's not a United States playing card company deck and it really can't be. Um, this company in Germany is able to make uh, this paper stock this specific way and so it's kind of needed uh, for this style trick. But uh, the deck will pass any inspection. The cards look exactly like playing cards. No one would suspect a thing. All right, so how much practice does it require? Uh, the trick really does require three spectators. The Peter Nardi will teach this though, so that you can do it for one or two, really. But it is going to work best with three. 
So there is some scripting involved. Uh, and there are predictions, okay? So you kind of have to remember where the predictions fall, where the script falls, and how the trick goes. But other than that, it's not a difficult trick to do. How much setup and reset is there? There is one initial piece of setup that you have to do. Uh, it's a little bit of arts and crafts that you do yourself. You have to take the pen and write on the back so all those numbers that you saw, you have to do that. Don't screw up or you will ruin the deck, okay? Just a word of advice. Always go slowly and carefully when you're using a Sharpie marker. Sharpie marker does not erase, okay? <laughs> Just a word of warning. <laughs> uh, you have to do a little bit of arts and crafts, uh, but other than that, once you put the deck together and at the end of the effect, you can put the card right on top and, or put, you can put the cards right back on top, right back in the bottom, whatever, and you're good to go again. Positives, what are the positives to Trilogy Extreme by Brian Caswell? Uh, I love it when mentalism and card magic come together. Um, Brian Caswell and the team at Alakazam have created a wonderful stunner that is perfect for the strolling magician. All right, so in the negatives, what are the negatives to Trilogy Extreme? You know, like we say around here, there's negatives to everything. These are just the negatives that I see. They don't have to be the negatives that you see. Uh, I don't like arts and crafts. I don't like my own handwriting. I don't like how pens are consistent sometimes and then inconsistent other times, especially when you're doing a whole deck you're writing on the back of all of them. It takes time, you just gotta be careful. It was my only negative. I would have loved it if they were pre-printed, but you know what, who cares? Just do it yourself. It's just a little bit of extra time you have to spend, but other than that, great trick. Is it worth your money? Uh, the old trick, Trilogy, before it was Trilogy Extreme, <laughs> that's also $40, and this new one is $40. So this new one is way better. So if you like the old one, you're gonna love the new one. All right, so who would like this? Uh, I think you really do need a table, okay? I think this works best when you have a table. So I think a strolling magician or parlor magician are definitely gonna be the people that'll gravitate to the most. All right, so that was Trilogy Extreme from Brian Caswell. As always, I wanna thank the people down at Murphy's Magic for allowing me to have this trick so that I could do the review for you. And if you'd like to purchase it for yourself, you can find it at your favorite Murphy's Magic dealer. Thanks, bye.